which oh Zach left his shirt here. That sounds sus. What the fuck? Everyone. We have about one week left of this whole uh, bulking stuff. Depending on how I feel, I might keep going after this or like after like the whole bulking season is over. It might be two weeks. It might be two weeks. I don't know. Who knows? But let's whip it out, boys. Not like that. What the fuck? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's run it. Okay. Not too shabby. 160.7. Not too bad, but definitely could have been better. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. All right, let's go get ready. You know, I'm actually pretty excited. What am I excited about? Food. I'm pretty excited to try this whole meal, the little meal prep that I got. I'm very excited to have it because I want to taste my creation. I have no doubts it's going to be better than the Applebee's one. One, because obviously I made it, so it's going to be better. <laughs> I feel like I, I, I just feel like there was some magic that was put in there. You know what I mean? Head into the old workplace now. Got work until Friday, I think. I, th I think. I don't, I don't know. I don't even look at my schedule anymore. The only time I really pay attention to the schedule, I even look at the schedule is like, the night prior. I think I have work until Friday, but yeah, that doesn't matter. 160.7. That's not too bad, actually. I'm not, I'm not crying about that. We still got two weeks left, so I think I said October 1st to get to 165. That's, that's really not that bad. That's really not that bad. So I'm gonna weigh myself next week, and then the week after. That, that's the, that's the last day. I'm sure I can gain 4.3 pounds during that time. I should probably stop talking and wipe my camera. All right, sounds good. Just had the meal earlier, the, the, old, the old Applebee's remake. What do I think of it? As the youth would say, it was busted. Quite delicious. Uh, I'd rate it a solid eight. The only reason why it wasn't a complete 10 is because I feel like I could have done better with the, uh, with the rice. I could have put a little bit more oomph on the flavor. You know what, let's do a nine out of 10. It would have been eight if I didn't have the extra ranch salsa sauce or whatever, but since I had some extra sauce and I put it on top of the rice, it made it, it, it turned it into a nine. So whenever the time comes that I recreate that dish, I'm definitely gonna be adding some extra flavors to the to the old rice. The rice isn't supposed to be like the, the main, the main topic of the meal, right? The rice is just kind of like the, you know, the addition, the little cherry on top. For it to be not too shabby and, you know, it just needed a little bit more flavor, that's not, that's not a bad thing. That's absolutely not a bad thing. I've over flavored a dish before. You know, to some people that might be a good thing, but I mean, eh, not really if you think about it. So make sure whenever you cook something, ladies and gentlemen, make sure it's flavored right. I'm gonna go home now and edit yesterday's video so I can upload it. I need to start getting up early again. Last night, um, I'm finally done with Super Mario Bros, like, the, the story mode. Like, I completed literally everything. Everything. Well, not everything, I guess. I still gotta find a couple of secret exits, but besides that, everything's been completed. All stars have been collected. Everything's been... Everything's done, right? And that's the reason why I've been staying up a little bit later in the past couple of weeks, because of super mario bros but now we're back on track well i still gotta complete mario kart but uh, maybe eventually uh, that game frustrates the hell out of me i want to start waking up early again tonight i'm gonna sleep early so i'm gonna go edit really quickly and uh, i'll see you guys in a little bit for some pool day today pool day best day Alrighty, alrighty. Heading to the gym, boys. Pool day is the great day. You know what I'm saying? Which, oh, Zach left his shirt here. That sounds sus. What the fuck? Nothing happened between me and Zach, okay? I We just switched shirts. He's got my Sonetti shirt. Now he's, I have it. I have his Hollister shirt. What is going on? All right, either way, while we're heading to the gym, I wanted to kind of yap a little bit about this whole new Lincoln Park situation. I guess if you guys don't know, which I, I don't know how you couldn't know, but you know, but no hate. Just here, let, let me educate you here really quickly. Linkin Park is a band. One of the more popular bands to come out from like the, the 2000s, you know what I mean? Famous for the songs like Numb, Crawling, one of my favorites, What I've Done. In the end, everyone knows those songs, right? And the lead singer of Linkin Park, Chester Bennington, sadly passed away seven years ago from suicide. And um, one of the most unexpected things to come out of that year. It's not like he's just a vocalist. He's like one of the greatest vocalists like of all time. His screams, his tonality, it, his voice is just, you know, it, it's, it's great. It's honestly really good. More than good, I don't know what I'm on about. Yeah, one of the best of all time. And to lose someone like that, yeah, you could probably imagine how devastating that is for the people that, you know, love Linkin Park. I, I will admit, I'm not the, the biggest fan of Linkin Park, but I like Linkin Park. Really good music. Still very sad, no matter how you look at it. Now, like I said, it's been seven years since, uh, since Chester passed away. And, you know, people started to wonder, like, is, is Linkin Park gonna 
gonna continue with a new vocalist or just with Mike? I don't know. Well, they answered that question uh, a couple weeks ago with a song called uh, The Emptiness Machine. They're coming out with a new album, they got a tour coming up, and it, it's, 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 they're, they're going balls to the wall, you know what I mean? But they have a new vocalist, Emily Armstrong. Now, the whole Scientology stuff that she's involved in, I'm not gonna talk about that in this video. That's, that's for you guys to start researching about, because that's not really the main point of this video. The main point is to just give my opinion on the music. I personally think The Emptiness Machine is a really, really, really good song. I think it's a great track. I think Emily's vocals on it and uh, kind of like a left field type of thing because it starts off with Mike. You know, we think that, oh, it's just gonna be him. You know, like, that, that'd be cool, like, Mike, Mike with the vocals, cool. But then, Emily Armstrong comes out with these powerful vocals, the, the chorus, the Let you go, na, 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 na. Really good. Linkin Park's production, mm. I think it's a great track, and, you know, people hate on it, you know, some people just don't like the music, which is okay. If you don't like the music just because not your taste, no worries, but a good amount of people definitely hate it because it's not Chester. They're still hanging on to Chester, right, which... To, it's unhealthy, man. I was gonna say to a degree. No, no, no. It's it's just unhealthy. People that are clowning on Emily for you know not being Chester, huh? It's the same logic as Steve Perry with Journey, right? Of course the replacements are gonna be Steve Perry, and I don't think anyone expected it to be, especially in this Lincoln Park case, right? Why would you try to find an exact replica of Chester Bennington? weird because in doing so i don't know you're almost disrespecting chester and obviously i don't think emily's like the best replacement you could have ever gotten but i don't think anyone is really i think this is a new start of lincoln park and i'm honestly i'm excited to hear the album man because you know what emptiness machine solid track very solid track point is this is for the people that suckle on the schmeat of chester bennington like he's ever gonna come back like bro let's move on you can miss him you can love him it's all good but just to outright hate Emily Armstrong because she's not Chester Bennington is one of the dumbest things I could have... <laughs> and especially with the way Chester went, I really don't think that he'd be advocating for this type of bullying on Emily Armstrong. Yes, yeah, she did voice crack a little bit, but I can only imagine that's a lot of emotions running through because, you know, she's... That's a lot of pressure, so I like the new Linkin Park direction. Really good track. Let's hear them out, all right? It's only been one song. And so far from what I've heard from the, 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 the Kia Forum concert, not bad, man. This talk has gone on for too long. <laughs> what the fuck? Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I just learned, actually? I took two scoops of the old pre-workout, right? You know, surprisingly, even even though I took two scoops of pre-workout, I'm still, like, I'm, I'm, I'm exhausted right now. So after this, I'm gonna go to bed and just have a great night. But point is, what I just learned is, um, apparently, uh, each scoop of uh, pre-workout actually has two and a half grams of uh, creatine. So if you do the math correctly, it's five grams, right? 2.5 times 2, there you go, he's the man. And that's my normal daily intake of creatine. That, that's pretty much everyone's daily intake of creatine. Technically, what I'm doing right now is I'm doubling up. I put a scoop in here. This is my male protein shake. That's about it, boys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go to bed now. I'm, I'm tired? Yeah, that's it, I'm tired. Alright, have a good night, guys. Thanks. Bye. Turn, turn around. No, I got a begging me to go, but I tell her to stop it. Always got the key in my heart is the lock it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like a pro, but you're really a novice.